Welcome to the first empties of 2023. I held off on doing empties for a while there. I think I was really planning to finish the Shantikai Future Skin Gel Foundation and I wasn't going to do another empties until I finished it. And then along came the Chanel Sublimage L'Etat Foundation and I realized I'm never going to finish the Shantikai because it's been eclipsed. I just had to move on. So I do have a handful a box full of, of empties here, some familiar, but others where I have some very important updates. And I've decided to include rejects in this one too, because sometimes it's not even worth finishing it. I've got my thoughts together and there are products that I feel like you're gonna wanna know about. Things that are kind of popular on the internet or kind of have had their viral moments. And I feel like even though I don't plan on finishing the product, it's worth giving my two cents as it pertains to things that are still going to go towards like the empties pile. So let's go ahead and jump in. So yeah, an empties, obviously the point is to be able to get like such a good review because I finished it and to tell you whether or not I'm going to buy it again or replace it. And if I'm not going to buy it again, what has replaced it, what superseded it in my routine. And I have had requests in the past to do like a quick like smash or pass at the end to just round them back up. So I will do that as well. I'm going to get these out of the way quickly because these are, there are a lot of them and there these are something that shows up in every single one of my empties. The only shampoo and conditioner that I can use are from Drunk Elephant because they don't break out my neck. I don't know what it has to do with, whether it's the lack of synthetic fragrance or just like the, there's no buildup to the ingredients or whatever, everything washes clean. But I did my declutter series at the end of the year and at one point I was so fried that I just like put my head inside the box and someone commented about how shiny my hair was, so. The shampoo and conditioner seem to be doing their job. Either way, I have here the Coco Mino Glossing Shampoo and the Coco Mino Marula Cream Conditioner. And I have two of each of these. Oh no! Since my last empties, so they're taking up a lot of room in this box, but you know, suffice to say, these aren't going anywhere and I've already bought backups. The other thing that there are two of from Drunk Elephant in the box are the TLC Glycolic Body Lotion. If you have KP and you're new to my channel and you haven't heard this rant yet, oh my gosh. Okay, so I have also the imaginary empty that goes with this because they're bars of soap, so there's no package to have that's empty. And that is, I will, I'll put it here on the screen. By the magic of television, the Soft Services Micro Crystal Buffing Bars I go through one of those probably every six weeks or so, and I just, I keep, I, they're just a constant in my routine because I use them to scrape off all of my KP and anything that's trying to sneak up and become acne on my back as a result of like hair product buildup and night sweats, something I'm extremely good at. And once I exfoliate that top layer, then I put this on when I get out of the shower and the combo makes it so that the glycolic in this is really, really effective and it keeps the skin on my back clear, which is fantastic. I also, I go through this really fast because I also use it on the tops of, like the top half of my arms to keep the KP at bay there. I have really, really bad, like I'm prone to super bad ingrown hairs on my legs and I tend to pick them if they're there and so, this gets ahead of that. I cannot recommend this stuff enough if you're like me and you just have that like slow, lazy cell turnover and everything likes to just get bumpy and weird. Like this is incredible stuff. That and the actual, because they always say the way to beat KP is to have a combination of a physical exfoliation and chemical exfoliation in your routine, but it's hard to do the physical exfoliation sometimes because a lot of them, and we'll talk about one in a second, a lot of them come in this like cream body wash kind of, you know, scrub form. And I'm telling you, it just doesn't do it. They're nice, they feel really good, but they don't, they're not tenacious enough to scrub the top layer of your skin off <laughs> the way that those micro crystal bars do. I always try and couch those in the warning that like if you don't use them, you know, good and wet and maintain the bar being good and wet, like you can hurt yourself with them. And I recommend exercise and caution when you use them because they're not messing around at all, but they're incredibly effective. They're so, 
so important to my routine. Like if I run out of them, I feel like my back breaks out immediately. So those are my KP solution, you know, duos. And I would say that I have like a bar for each one of these lotions <laughs> to go right alongside it. This sat in my shower for a really long time. I, I don't even know what it's called. It's the, it's the body wash. All the letter is washed off eventually. And it took me so long to get through this because I, it didn't really seem to matter that much. I use the micro crystal bars quite a bit. I don't use a ton of body wash and I have had two different bottles of the Necessaire body wash and they're interchangeable in my routine. I actually kind of prefer the Necessaire because it doesn't smell like anything. And uh, this does, it doesn't have like a fragrance added to it, but it smells like sweet almond, which is just, it's just not my favorite, you know? So I used it. It was not integral to my routine. And what I'm using right now is the Necessaire unscented. Okay. That was all for Drunk Elephant. <laughs> Piggybacking on what I just said, this is the Naturium KP Body Scrub and Mask. When they say it's a mask, it's like to use, apply onto wet skin, gently massage with fingertips, wait a few minutes and rinse thoroughly. I, I that's just not, I just don't stand outside of the shower. Like my back is not gonna not be in the stream of the shower. So I mean, putting a mask on while I'm in the shower is just not really something that fits in my routine. And that's just probably a, a personal thing. It says our three-in-one body exfoliant instantly transforms bumpy, dry, rough, and dull skin formulated with pumice and jojoba esters plus AHA, BHA, PHA chemical exfoliants. The scrub grips, polishes, and smooths skin. It uses a mask for an effective in-shower treatment. So I think that they are kind of excusing the fact that this is something that does degrade as you rub it and it washes off so you're not really getting the full potency of the actives by saying you know put it on as a mask so it almost just like puts it on you if it's not really working because you don't have the patience to sit in the bath and like or sit in the shower and then like let this cook on your skin as a mask which i don't now as a regular scrub just scrubbing my legs or scrubbing my arms or my back or whatever. This is euphoric. It feels absolutely incredible. <laughs> but I just think that, it, I, like I always say, it's one of my pet peeves is just calling these things like KP solutions when it doesn't really matter having all of those actives in there trying to be an all-in-one product because it doesn't stay on your skin long enough. And a scrub that you scrub with your hands you're exfoliating your hands more than you're exfoliating your back. I just feel like it doesn't it doesn't do what those micro crystal bars can do. I just need wild levels of actual physical exfoliation. And while this is quite lovely, it just doesn't even come close to being something that would be an effective all-in-one solution for KP or even a complement to that routine. It just feels good. So I, I won't be repurchasing this, but it was really nice. I think the Naturium is doing some nice things. The other Naturium product in here that I finished is the Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion. The reason that the pump is gone on here is because I also have their oil cleanser, but it got knocked over in the shower and the pump broke like permanently. And I feel like that's a flaw. I don't know. It should just be a little bit less prone to breaking. I don't really know what they would do to solve that, but I doubt we're the only ones that that happened to. Like how likely is it that you're going to knock a bottle over in the shower? It's pretty likely. And this doesn't go in the shower. This was just sitting on my counter. And my husband loved this because like, it's super simple. It doesn't have any fragrance in it or anything. And so he was just like pumping it out. He's like, pumps game changer, you know, cause I'm trying to constantly convince him to moisturize and he was putting this all over his face, you know? And I was like, I mean, it's better than nothing. You know what I mean? Like, and, and it's better than using something like wildly scented on his face. So uh, this is, yeah, the advanced lipid complex for all day moisture. And I really dug it. Like it's a body butter. Like it's really intense and intensive, I guess, just a nice heavy body cream that has, it's just super, super thick and luxurious and moisturizing, very rich. It says, our replenishing body lotion works to restore skin's natural barrier for a soft and supple looking skin reformulated, reformulated? Formulated with omega fatty acids, shea butter, B vitamins, and sodium PCA. This lotion moisturizes skin with no greasy residue. Absolutely, and I am someone who has really 
big needs when it comes to a moisturizer. I can't have something that's just kind of flaky, you know? It really has to do the job. I do end with a body oil, but I still like my moisturizer to pull its weight and this really pulled its weight. And I would absolutely buy it again because, you know, Mike liked it and I really liked it. And I don't, Naturium, their stuff is really well priced. So I definitely think I will repurchase this if some of the other body butters that I have don't end up working out. Like Josie Marin sent a really beautiful PR package and it had the body butter in it but I have had the unscented version before and this one is the apricot vanilla and I just don't like it I don't like the way it smells I don't like walking around smelling like apricot vanilla even though I think it's natural enough that it's not gonna bug my skin I still just I don't want to smell like that so I have a couple more that I'm gonna try out because I do have things that get sent to me in PR but like if I didn't have stuff kind of waiting in the wings this would be the next thing that I bought because I feel like it's when you go to it's like when you go to Target or Walgreens or whatever and you want to pick up uh, you know a, I don't know like a Eucerin or something like that except it's just a little bit more mindfully formulated than that you know it doesn't have like parabens and stuff in it which I think that like you know that's up to you whether those things bother you but it's all been done with like says made in the usa cruelty free paraben free vegan gluten free dermatologist tested some of their packaging is made out of recycled materials things like that i just feel like they go a little bit the extra mile and they're really comparable in price to stuff that you would get at the drugstore if, if memory serves so yeah i loved this i really did highly recommend the only thing was that, you know, eventually because it's so intense, you might get a little annoyed because the pump won't continue like picking up the product and you do have to open it and you know, but I have to do that with everything. Big secret there is to just pound it on the table or the counter so that the straw, so that it all goes to the bottom and the straw can get to it. Cause what it does is it digs a hole out of the middle, but regardless, at some point you're going to have to take the lid off. Okay. So this has been a ride or die for me a long, for a long time. Like ever since I was a hairstylist, I have, well, ever since hair school, when I was like 17. This is the Kenra Volume Spray Super Hold Finishing Spray number 25. It's their highest hold hairspray and I used to have really short hair and it was really really blonde and I would use three different products on it. I think they were all from Kenra and because they do such great kind of like blonde friendly styling products and stuff and what was awesome about this was like you know when my hair was maybe like six inches long and it's lo like the longest part of my hair was that long I could really just like work something into the roots get a lot of grit there and then I could use this and I could do whatever indie sleaze thing I wanted to do to my hair that day and it would just freeze it there but then I could also comb through it if it was dry and it would kind of go back and it would just kind of rough my hair up and it's great for updos it's an incredible hairspray my hair's needs are a little bit less than this now i have you know a little bit of like curling around my face and stuff like that like with my regrowth after pregnancy and stuff but my hair's long now and this just is a little too intense and i kind of found that out this last time so while i absolutely recommend this if you really need some hold I have been, and I have switched over to, I've been using the Orbe Ultra Fine Hairspray. I tried it when I was staying with Ingrid and I fell in love with it. And there are two, I use just the regular Super Fine. And it's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's like this super, super fine mist as the name suggests. And that's just become my new favey fave. So that's what we're on lately and it has a very similar effect to it but it's just so much less product coming out of the bottle at any given time but i still respect the hell out of that kenra 25. okay this is empty we have a candle empty this is the replica my some margella i mixed some paint on the bottom of it i just reach for whatever i can this is the by the fireplace candle and I went straight through this. This stuff is magic. This thing is just absolutely lovely. I bought one for my sister for Christmas and this was gifted to me. I initially didn't really like get it, you know? I smelled it and I was like, yeah, whoa, that's really strong. But there's something about it, it just mellows as it burns and I just absolutely fell in love with it and I would absolutely repurchase it. I am kind of working my way through a few things. I just got Dream Girl from the new savant and it has nothing to do with this i mean they're very different but it's just so nice but uh yeah i mean i have tons and tons like more candles than i need but 
I highly recommend this and I absolutely get I get the appeal now. I get the whole cult following that this has. And I do have Marshmallow Fireside as well from Bath and Body Works and they're similar, but this definitely has like the luxury appeal. Again, I get it. I get it. I love the way that it makes like the whole upstairs smell like this. It's so good. All right, here's one that, you know, we talk about a lot. It's like completely, completely cleared out and empty. This is the SkinCeuticals Triple Lipid Restore 242. And I always talk about how I have this. This is like the only thing I have on auto replenish. And auto replenish is like, you know, you know that it's, you never want to run out of it. And that's, that's a pretty big commitment. I think I'm going to pause my auto replenish because like we're getting into the coldest, driest time of the year and I am doing just fine without a $130 cream right now. So I have another one that's like still full and I've been kind of using it here and there, but with the other stuff that I've been using, like I've been using some stuff from It Cosmetics, my stuff from Make Beauty. I have, y'all, I have a lot of stuff. I have the stuff that Fortuna Skin sent me that's just like off the charts. So yeah, I just, I all of those things, all of those things individually are less expensive than one of these. So I might be, I might be moving past this. <laughs> we shall see, but yeah, I'm gonna cancel my, auto replenish and just work through the next one, see how long it takes me. And I'll follow up in the next one, see if see if I've found a solution. And it's not gonna be a dupe. I wouldn't wanna dupe it. But like the stuff that I'm using now, I like better. I know, I know, it's crazy. Speaking of make, I emptied this one quick. I've been, I have been an absolute broken record about this. I know, I hear myself. Okay, so this is the Make Beauty Hydroscape Moisturizing Reverse Emulsion. And it is, okay, so someone asked recently, they're like, is it like the Glossier Future do? The thing that I compared this to, that I keep comparing it to, it is a, it's like right in between the Future do and that stuff that Hanacure makes, the Nano Emulsion. It's, the Nano Emulsion is thinner than this, but does something really similar. But the Nano Emulsion is like anywhere from like 45 to hundred dollars a bottle, depending on how much you get. I'm pretty sure they're like 1.7 ounces, like a hundred dollars. And then this one is 1.7 ounces and it is $36. Make Beauty is out here making outrageously good products for not the luxury prices that they could be charging. I'm not gonna say that $36 is cheap, but I, I am saying that it's a lot easier to stomach than 45 or $100, you know? The effect that this has on the skin, if I can like get a little bit off the wand here, is that like it's a very thin kind of white serum and then it kind of grips onto the skin as you're rubbing it in and it gives you that look that you know all of the millennial or gen z focused makeup companies are trying to portray on their models you know that just like i just moisturized and i'm you know sitting in perfect lighting my skin glows kind of thing and it doesn't matter if you've got a breakout, it doesn't matter if you've got, you know, you're tired, you know, underslept, whatever. You put that on, that finish on your skin makes you look vibrant. It just makes you look healthy, even if your skin itself is imperfect. And the, just the cosmetic elegance of it combined with the beautiful barrier that it puts on your skin. And it's kind of occlusive, but it's really moisturizing. It's just, it's such a pleasure. Like you just kind of don't want to stop using it. And that's why I went through it so fast is because I'm just like, well, I mean, some is good, more is better. You know what I mean? I just kind of want to put it everywhere. It's so wonderful. So yeah, I already replaced this and I will not be running out of this anytime soon. This stuff is magic. Magic! We have an update here. So I mentioned it kind of briefly in my haul video that I just did. But this is the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm, and this is what I have always sworn by. I have been like, why would you pay so much for a cleansing balm, X, Y, and Z? Because I've tried Green Clean, I have tried the Clinique Take the Day Off, I've tried the Tatcha Oil, I've tried, you know what I mean? I've tried a ton of different ones because I love a good makeup remover oil or makeup remover balm. I just love being able to just massage it all, but then it, it has to break down with water. It has to turn back into a milk. I'm not doing any of that wipe it thing and then have to wash my face again. 
I mean, I'm gonna wash my face again. It's part of a double cleanse, but I want the makeup to be gone after that. And I want it to rinse clean. And I always swore by this because it was $15. And I was like, you don't need to pay all that. You've got this. And I bought it recently because I finished something. I can't remember which one I finished. I think it was probably the Burt's Bees one. And I was like, I just want the balm back and it's only $15, big deal. So I bought this and as soon as I started using it, I realized that they had reformulated it. It really behaves now like coconut oil. It says that it's formulated with nourishing sea buckthorn oil, camellia oil, and shea butter, but I feel like the texture of it, and you can still see a little bit of it, it doesn't have the structure to it that it used to. So it used to have this firmness to it that you kind of had like a waxiness almost that you had to work to break it down on your skin and you didn't have to use very much of it. And it would break down to a really nice like thick tenacious kind of oily balm whereas this just goes slick like liquid like it just completely melts in your hands immediately like as soon as you touch it and so like normally you would take like your fingernail or the little thing that they give you and just scrape out a little bit this as soon as you touch it with your finger it all melts so you end up with like a handful of it every time inadvertently and it just it feels like it, it a little doesn't go a long way you're using more of it it melts off faster it's just it's just kind of a lot less cosmetically elegant like it's just a less elegant thing to interact with and i know that they changed it because the smell is different. Like it used to have this kind of funny, like banana mint kind of smell to it that I was like, huh, it's not the smell. It's not a fragrance. It's just the smell of the ingredients, but like it was distinct. And now it just smells like, you know, like a, a canola oil or something. So yeah, I'm really sad that they changed it. I don't know why they did that because this was such a star product for me and I would have always encouraged anybody to buy it, but I'm glad that I bought it again so that I can tell y'all like it's different now. And what I've replaced it with is the take the day off from Clinique. And I got the charcoal one just out of fascination. I do feel like it does a little tiny, tiny bit of, I, you can't feel any grit to it, but I do feel like it does a little bit of like micro exfoliation maybe when I use it. And it's just nice. It has what I want. Cause I mean, take the day off was the first time that I ever experienced a cleansing balm. You know, that was like the first one that I ever used. And so I think that, you know, it kind of stands as the as the bar in my mind but it has that lovely waxiness that like you know you have to kind of dig some out of it. it doesn't just melt as soon as you touch it and you kind of have to work it into your skin but a little goes a long way and it does rinse clean as a milk like really really well and i've been using it actually with my little like scrubby device you know to, to like really you know get all my eye makeup out and everything and it's just a really it's a workhorse it's a great product so yeah it's unfortunate and i know that the clinique one is more expensive but you know it, it does reliably what i want a cleansing balm to do and this one doesn't anymore so sad and it's a shame because they, they moved it to tin instead of plastic it used to be in plastic and now it's in an aluminum tin like that's fantastic but Next, mm, mm. I finally ran out of this and this is another update, another important update for those playing along at home. This is the Necessaire deodorant gel fragrance free and I did a sponsorship with Necessaire where they sent me a bunch of their stuff to try and truth be told, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love their stuff and I'm very specific about any deodorant that I use. The only active ingredient that works for me is uh, an AHA, I think it's an AHA, called mandelic acid. And it helps to, it's antibacterial, you know? It kills the bacteria that makes you smelly. So you can still sweat, but you don't smell. <sighs> the thing is though, I just don't feel like this one lasts as long. It's like maybe it doesn't have as much of the active ingredient in it because, I'm oh, sorry, lasts as long as the Kosas. <laughs> I forget sometimes what, like how, how to recontextualize something. So the Kosas Sport Chemistry Deodorant also it comes in three fragrances, one of them being just unscented and that is the one that I use. And that one was the original one that worked for me and I got my mom hooked on it and everything. They're both $15 but the Kosas one has more product in it, but it's also in a plastic container that can fail. Like if you are too rough with it, it can kind of crack around the threading where you, you know, screw the top back on and it can leak and things like that. It's just not perfect. And so that was why I went more for this just because it's more aesthetically pleasing. I was like, they're the same. 
They're the same active ingredient. They're both clear, because that's the thing I have about Lumi is that it's like a cream, and it's just not my favorite. I feel like it's kind of like messy, and I notice that it's there. Like this goes on so cleanly, it doesn't bother me at all. But I just found that this didn't last as long. As I've gone through this bottle, I'm like, I do start to smell like late in the day sometimes, and that just doesn't happen with the Kosas. So I just repurchased, I made an order on Sephora and it was mainly to replace my deodorant and I went for the Kosas and I will continue to go for the Kosas. It is just, it's exceptional and it is longer lasting than the Necessaire. Can confirm, at least on my body, these things are very personal. Oh my goodness, it's a makeup empty. And honestly, like I'm not even really sure that you could, it still has like a touch of powder in there in the bottom, but it's so old, I don't, want to put it on my skin because I guarantee you I have gone bleh, 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 bleh. You know what I mean? And like knocked powder back into it with my own germs on there. And it's just, it's done. But this was the Hourglass Veil Powder. And this is the only powder I think I've ever finished. No, I finished the Thrive one. I did love the Thrive one. Uh, the loose powder that they had. And they're very, very similar. It's also similar to the, like the Laura Mercier one, but it's bulletproof. Like, I think I use this at my wedding. It's, it adds a little bit of coverage. The, sorry, did I say it's the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And I really enjoy it, but I'm not gonna repurchase it, A, because I have so many powders, and B, my tastes have changed so much as it pertains to like the kinds of powders that I like to wear and what I want from a powder. What I want from a powder now is just blur. I don't necessarily want coverage or like mattification from it. I just want it to change the way that the light hits that part of my face. This is going to change the texture underneath my eyes so drastically that it will make the, it will like have a line of demarcation where you can see powder and non-powder and that's not my game anymore. You know what I mean? This is like a full face powder to me. Uh, it's so beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. And if that's, if those are the wants that you have, like even like oil control and things like that, I highly recommend it. It just isn't what I need anymore. Hence, like you haven't heard about it in a really long time on my channel. So <laughs> yeah, a an empty makeup product that isn't like an eyebrow pencil. And that brings us to our two rejects. Our rejects. That's right. So the first one is this, I told you. These were going to be kind of like hot products that it might surprise you that I am rejecting them, but I think it's important to mention them because both of them are pricey, okay? So these, they were both sent to me and I'm grateful for that, for the chance to try them. And this is the Victoria Beckham by Augustinus Bader Cell Rejuvenating Power Serum. And you're supposed to use this during the day underneath your makeup and I have made it through most of the bottle, like half the bottle, right? I used this every single day for like a month. I noticed nothing. I noticed nothing. There was no change when I put it on. There was no long-term change. There was no change for the negative or the positive when I stopped using it. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it doesn't do it for me. <laughs> I'm experiencing no cell rejuvenation, especially because like in the context of like, th this primer and the gold one of the same ilk, whew, they change the way my makeup wears. They are gorgeous. They make my skin look so supple and healthy and they make any face of makeup just look that much more nourishing, they're wonderful, and they come in this massive container. But like, first of all, this is a very, very annoying, like this is one of the most disability, unfriendly dispensers outside of like the Dewdrop Foundation from Surratt that I have ever encountered. Because you have to do, I'm pretty sure this is what you have to do. You have to do this, and then you have to just squeeze the front of that, like the little nipple. It's like the NYX foundation that was like that, that everyone made fun of because they're like, why is it a nipple? It's like that. I'm telling y'all, I mean, it's it's obviously a thing. You know what I mean? Like I put it on, it it's not nothing, but I mean, it really, I didn't, I didn't notice a gosh darn thing. I'm like wondering if that part is supposed to like dispense the correct amount or something like that, but like, I just, that's not the lid. I just like couldn't figure out whether I was doing it right, but it's just, it's, 
not worth the money. I think this is like wildly expensive. And if you're, if you've been looking at it and it's been tempting you, understand that at least if you trust my recommendations, I noticed nothing from this. <laughs> so hopefully that saves you a couple bucks. And then as I am so grateful, I'm always so grateful, especially for these brands that I love to be sending me things to try. Like, you know, Victoria Beckham Beauty, like beginning on that PR list, like, are you freaking kidding me? Dream come true. Dream come true. I also feel the same way about soft services because I fell in love with them so swiftly. I really did. It was just like a, it was a torrid love affair, especially when I found those micro, micro crystal bars. And they came out with this and I see ads for it all the time. This is their hand cream. And it's a really practical little container because, you know, you essentially pull this part out. I have tons of it left, tons of it. Okay, so it's a retinol hand treatment, which is brilliant, a brilliant idea. And it comes in this replaceable, like this part stays, and then this part is like a replaceable airless pump. But first of all, the airless pump clogs up pretty easily because it's a pretty like, waxy formula. So when you just are supposed to kind of absentmindedly reach over to your nightstand and squish it and get some out, it just shoots over, mine shoots over onto the wall. And I'm like, that's a flaw. You know, I guess I should be like wiping it out or whatever. But the main thing y'all, besides the fact that I didn't really notice that it did that much like for my cuticles or something, the smell is so bad. I don't know if I got a bad one or what, but it is so bad. It, there's no fragrance to it and it smells like rotten bananas. It's just not, it's not a good, it's not a, oh boy, I can't, I can't get past the smell, especially if you were using it every single night and like falling asleep with your hands next to your face or something. It's a bad smell. And it must just be the ingredients or whatever. And it's a shame because like, you know, I could see maybe if I were more diligent using it, more passionate about using it, you know, I might be able to see the results a little bit better because it is like occlusive and it does, I don't know. I mean, it's obviously, I guess, got retinol in it or whatever, but I don't know. That smell is really hard for me to get past. And I don't necessarily think that like, it's something that would offend everyone. Obviously it's selling out like crazy. It, you know, it's kind of like that whey shampoo. Everybody's like, that smell, it smells like old, you know, grandmother's house that's been abandoned. It smells like mothballs, you know? And I don't smell it at all. It's like cilantro, you know? You just like, some people do, some people don't. And my husband took a shower in our guest bathroom the other day and he used that whey shampoo and he was like, I don't know what that was in the shower, but I smell like I fell out of like a cedar chest full of mothballs. It's so gross. I smell like an old, you know, grandma's closet. And I was like, huh, yeah, I don't smell anything, but he is one that is st struck by the, you know, the, the, the way of the way, if you will. So it could just be very personal. I, I'm not gonna completely rule this product out, but it's a reject for me just because like the, all of the cleverness and the like ease of use and whatever is just superseded by the fact that it is a, a, just a really nauseating experience to use it because the smell is just so bad. But I also, maybe I should reach out to them and see if like I got a bad one or if they're maybe putting out a, a scented version. I will put a scented product on my hands, you know, like I would do that. So I don't know, I have, I'm optimistic because they're a new company and they're outrageously responsive, responsive. They're so nice <laughs> and they're so like, they care so much about whether people like their products and obviously people are liking this. And if you've tried this, please, you know, let me know, does yours smell really wild? Cause like it's, I mean, out of the package, mine smelled really gross. <laughs> so I don't know. And I mean, if that's the case, if like they're gonna either improve it or if I got a bad one, I can keep the container and just replace this and you know, be a little more, all of my other concerns would probably be alleviated if the smell, I could get past them if the smell wasn't so bad, but like I cannot in good conscience recommend this because I feel like it's just, I can't overcome that part of it. And that's just how I feel about that, unfortunately. But yeah, let's do the quick smash or pass. All right. Drunk Elephant, the shampoo, the conditioner, 
the glycolic body lotion are all smashes. I just keep going through them. By the way, all this goes in a TerraCycle box. So I already have backups of those. The body wash was a pass for me, not because it's bad, but just because it's pretty forgettable. It's fine. Naturium, absolutely love the lotion, would definitely repurchase. The KP Body Scrub and Mask, I'm not gonna repurchase this because I like my micro crystal buffing bars from Soft Services and they're far more effective for KP, but if what you like is just a nice scrub that exfoli gently exfoliates your skin and feels really good, this is lovely stuff and I'm pretty sure Naturium is priced really well. Make Beauty! <laughs> Hydroscape Moisturizing Reverse Emulsion. Smash, 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 smash. Can't recommend it enough. Necessary deodorant gel. Pass. Doesn't last as long. Replaced by other things. SkinCeuticals is on probation. The Triple Lipid Restore. I have a backup, but I'm not gonna be buying any more backups and we'll just see if other things supersede it because it has one giant mark against it and that is that it is wildly expensive. Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. Not gonna be repurchasing it. Already repurchased something else because they changed the formula. Kenra Volume Spray Super Hold 25 is being replaced by Orbay. Replica by the Fire place smash 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 love it so much would definitely repurchase it if I didn't have like 800 other candles and I do buy this as gifts for people I like it that much the veil setting powder from hourglass loved it but not going to repurchase it just because like I said it's just not my it's not my aesthetic anymore and then my two rejects I don't recommend the Victoria Beckham by Augustinus Bader cell rejuvenating power serum because it doesn't do anything and retinol overnight hand cream stuff from soft services because it smells awful. So that's it. Those are my empties, y'all. I love a good empties. It's just like an opportunity to film and chill and hang with y'all and get your feedback in the comments. So do let me know your thoughts on these if you've had similar experiences, especially with the hand cream, because I want to believe, you know? It's like one of those ones where I want to believe because I really like them as a company, but yeah, so far not so good. But I do want to thank all of the companies that do send me these things to try so that I even have the opportunity to give y'all variety in an empties video. That's so cool. It's just, I feel incredibly fortunate to be able to do that. So thank you to them and thank y'all for watching. If you enjoyed this, please do give it a thumbs up if you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel. If you finished the video and you are not yet subscribed, you should probably subscribe while you're here. You made it all the way to the end and this is a pretty good example of what my videos are like. I will stick a video right here that I think that you will appreciate watching next if you liked this one. I want to thank y'all for watching. I love y'all so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!